Hey, what's up, guys? This is going to be a little bit of a catch-up video because I've been kind of busy and stuff and haven't been able to make videos for a while. So, anyways, let's get started. Um, first off, I found recently at Save Mark quite a few uh, treasure hunts. Um, I don't know where that other thing went. Um, uh, okay, here it is. Yeah, I found um, a total of five Tucker torpedoes. I opened one. Um, found three regulars and one super throw wheels darker paint. Um, these were found at Save Mart, which is basically to other people like their Krogers and other stuff like that. You know, and Albersons. You guys saw some of those. But yeah, they had a new pallet bought in and it was totally filled and I was the first one to get got to go through it and yep, just found these five. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I have a total of six Tucker torpedoes, um, including that one. Um, and then Hot August Nights was in town. If any of you guys know about Hot August Nights, it's probably besides like SEMA, it's one. It's one of the most richest uh, car uh, shows. So you know, I got some things from there. Um, so you know. I went Friday with my nephew, we saw a Batmobile, um, he took a picture with it, I didn't take any pictures, um, but yeah, we saw a Batmobile, and there's a guy there with a, uh, big COE truck, um, selling a whole bunch of different, like, old Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, it's, they're pretty expensive, so, I bought two, and he gave me a free grab bag, so, um, my nephew has the other one, but he has a, um, he has a, uh, 64, uh, GTO, it's a like a special one. It was it was yellow with some real riders and then it the hood open. And I picked this out. Um, I remember having these when I was a kid. This is a '63 Impala. These things are starting to get pretty pricey. They're made by um, Revel. You know they make the um, the uh, car sets, the um, plastic model kits. This one has an opening back. You can see all the hydraulics. And the cool thing with this one, all the wheels lift up like it has hydraulics and then you know you could push this one down like that one up push that one down have all four down you know and my favorite I like to leave the front end up a little bit you know these things these are unique cars you can still find them around um but they are oh, they are getting hard to come across this is like the packaging for them oh that's kind of child inappropriate but yeah oh that kind of went there as you can see it's made by Revel um, yeah, how many different ones they have like 81 Cadillac to Coupe de Ville 77 Chevy Monte Carlo 82 Buick Regal um, 96 Chevy Impala SS 58 Chevy Impala 64 Chevy Impala I almost got the 64 but I didn't like the brown color and then um, they have the 61 59 63 Impala 82 Buick Regal 77 Monte Carlo another one and another 81 Cadillac Coupe de Ville so yeah it says it has opening trunk input and adjustable axles. So, you know, you can still come across these, but... And there's another company who made them. And in, in our free grab bag, we got a really ugly Johnny Lightning car. I honestly don't like it. <laughs> um, no, it does not look like that at all. Um, it just has this really long nose. The, the rims are hard to see, but they're like weird three-spoke rims. And then... The wheels are the axles are really short, so they go in really far, and it just doesn't look right with these um with these fendered cars. You know, usually the wheels are really riding in the fenders, look like they're gonna skid. But um, I guess these are limited edition. This is one of only um, twenty thousand. I got numbered nineteen thousand six hundred and sixteen, so not a real good number. Honestly, I. I really do not like this car. I'll probably just give it to my nephew, let him tear it up. You know, I don't know. I mean, the packaging is all nice, you know, but the car itself is not all that great. I mean, I mean but whatever. It was a free car. Can't complain. Um, also, they had a uh, a um, Rat Fink stand. If you know who Rat Fink is, um, Ed Roth created him. Ed Roth also made a lot of cars like Beatnik Bandit, which is here in my town, um, sitting in a museum, 
and you know he made like the Orbitron. He makes a lot of weird different cars. He also put out his line of um 164 scale cars. He also has um some um, model kits. He is now um he's now uh, passed away, but I met his wife uh, Trixie Roth, I believe her name was, and she sold me some stuff. She sold me this poor trucks patch. I'm gonna put that in my truck. Um somewhere um nowhere too flashy but you know probably you know somewhere it is noticed but not too noticeable but yeah it just says four trucks and it has a mouse guy on it um, so yeah um then you know sold me some keychains um the old rat pink guy right there and then um you guys might remember if some of you Guys might remember these were back in the day. It was the wrap pink foot, the pinky toe sticking out. But yeah, I got those for my keys. And at the bottom it says pink foot. And then she was nice enough to, um, cause I asked her about some jackets her husband made that he custom airbrushing. She says um, she has a guy who does custom airbrushing, and she'll have a jacket. I want a behind jacket custom made just for me, so that was real nice, you know, of her to do that. And it was pretty cool meeting her. They also had um, a couple of the stores, Wars people there. They had, um, short, I don't know, I don't really follow up with that show, but they had the short, bald guy and the dirty, blonde haired girl, you know, his girlfriend or his wife or whatever. Um, I don't really care for them, so I don't really pay attention to them. Uh, they had a lot of different Hot Wheel vendors. They, um, some guys were real expensive. Some guys weren't. Um, but one of the ones I had to have, this one was six dollars. It was a '65 Mercury Comet Cyclone that a guy had for six bucks. As you can see it's a gasser, very nice car. Um, and then um, there was another vendor yesterday that I went to. Um, he had the Texas Drive Em which was very cool and I'm glad I waited. This one was only five bucks in the package. Um, it's actually a Ford pickup truck, like a um, like a 78 or something like that, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell right now. But it is Ford, it has the Ford logo on the front, but it says Texas Drive. It has two dirt bikes in the back. I really like this model. I almost got a second one. They also had a um, orange one, but he says he, he can get them again, so I'll just wait till next year. And I'll pick up another two and give one to my girlfriend because she loves Ford trucks and dirt bikes in the back. You know, and I should have got her one then, but you know they are available. But I'm glad I waited for this guy because um, there's another guy who had it and um, he uh, it was out of package. It was all scratched up. It wasn't the same model. I mean, it did have rubber tires and stuff, but he wanted like 15 bucks for it, and I was like, eh, you know. So, you know, it's mainly just the casting that I like, and then the dirt bikes in the back. So this one is just perfectly fine and not blue. And then the guy threw in this passing gasser for free. Um, he sells okay on these, but he had a few of them. So I just said, hey, can, I said, you know, I was just kind of messing with him. I was just like, hey, we should throw this in for free. And he was like, ah, okay. And I was like, really? So yeah, he did it for free. So yeah. So that's basically what I got there. Um, no, the tailgate does not fold up on the uh, Ford truck. As you can see, it has a tailgate down. It'd be kind of neat if it folded up. It does have room to fold up, but it doesn't sadly. But that's okay. Still a very awesome model. I think these two are like good pieces, you know, that I found. This one was pretty cool. You know, we all over passing gas here. Mr. Gasket. So yeah, then I got some um, companies to do some stuff to my truck. You know, I have making a custom truck. You know, my Ford is gonna be custom. So yeah, um, it also says Ford on the tailgate below, where it's folded down. So that's really cool. Very nice touches on this truck. So yeah, I'm just gonna open these in the next video because I'm running out of time. So yeah, just. Come back for the next video, and thanks to you guys for watching.